Yo, what's up, everybody? Oh, check it out. It's the void. I love the void. Hang on a minute. There's that music. Yo, what's going on? Oh my gosh. I am... I'm actually kind of excited tonight. I'm, uh... Ever, ever since I started streaming, this game has been one that I've wanted to... that I've wanted to put on for everybody. And I... I, I don't know why it's taking me this long, but I'm finally doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. It's so good to have you here. Uh, we are going to be playing a little game called Need to Know tonight. It is uh, it is described as a surveillance thriller. Also, um, like, flash warning, apparently, in the background here. <laughs> um, oh, hang on. It's, it's taking me to the splash screen. <laughs> uh, it is a surveillance thriller by Mono Myth Games. It came out a couple of years ago. And it was uh, a game that I kickstarted when uh, it was first announced, because I thought the the concept of the game looked so cool. It's like Papers Please, but you're playing in the not so distant future for the Department of Liberty, which is like an NSA type uh, government agency. Uh, the story is fun and compelling. It is kind of intense at times, but. It just hooked me. It hooked me hard. Uh, and honestly, I feel like this game was uh, criminally underrated. I feel like it did not get a whole lot of attention, but uh, this is the only game that Mono Myth has ever put out, and I adore it. So I'm excited to share it all with you tonight. So buckle in, get cozy. Let's go ahead and have ourselves an adventure. <laughs> I have not played this game for like three years since it first came out. So a lot of this is going to be new to me again. <laughs> oh yeah, well, check it out. Hold on, we can uh, we can change our our style. Hold on. Not many choices. That's fine. We'll play as this nappy looking guy over here. Oh, hang on. I kind of like the black hair. It's kind of neat. Mm, that's the one. Proceed. <laughs> What's up, David? How's it going, man? Welcome in. <laughs> Drip and drop. That's true. We're both here. <laughs> uh, we can... Oh, we set our name. Leon, Nelson, Isaac, Curtis, Lewis. I'm going to go with... Uh, so they're all just... Oh, wait. Or enter a name below. Well, obviously we have to... Well, do I want to be... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do drip... Wait, wait, wait. Drip T deer. Dear. Perfect. <laughs> welcome in, David. Welcome, welcome. Let's do it. Confirmed. I'm from Saratosa, Florida, just like in real life. 2018. Y'all remember 2018? You love my voice. Oh my god. Arrow. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Canopic, a malicious computer worm, is created on September 30th, 2018. On the 21st of October, the worm enters the supposedly impenetrable networks of three new digital nuclear power plants in Jersey, Michigan, and California. A couple weeks later, reactor coolant pumps overheat and explode in all the three plants. Oh god, we're, hold on, we're, we're, we're whispering carelessly about nuclear meltdowns? What the hell? <laughs> you guys have no sense of poise. 3.5 million people are evacuated to the affected areas. Breen! Breen, how can you just be whispering carelessly? The president declares a nationwide state of emergency. Breen! This is no time to be whispering carelessly. <laughs> <They're> not. <laughs> You're not wrong. No terrorist has claimed responsibility for the attacks. After lengthy investigations have revealed no traces of those responsible by December 4th. In a speech, the president publicly berates the intelligence community for its lack of progress. This is how it starts. Oh. Finally, someone claims responsibility for the attack. A cryptic video appears from a figure called Cloud Dweller. It's traced, quickly dismissed as a hoax. Ah, ah, public anger surges at a rally. No suspects from the Gray Day attacks have been identified, let alone caught. A bill is drafted to create a new intelligence agency better equipped to deal with versatile threats. It will have unprecedented pa- I, look. <laughs> The bill, known as the Liberty Act, it's, it passes unanimously. 
Oh my god. The new agency is founded. It's the Department of- It's the Department of Liberty. It's the Department of Liberty, guys. That's the one founded. <laughs> There's a lot of bleats. There's a lot of bleats happening. Oh my god. That was like five bleats at once. How did you even do that? Are you guys coordinating? Is this a coordinated bleat attack? This is- this is what the- this is what the- <laughs> This is what, uh, this is what the attack looked like, the cyber attack. Just a bunch of bleats. I am about to interview for, uh, the Department of Statistics, or so I think. Yo. Or so I think. That's all- God, look at these bleats, man. They're everywhere. Who let in all these bleats? Drip deer? <laughs> That's me. That's me, I'm Drip Deer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm... I'm Noel Sharp, the regional manager here at the Bureau of Statistics. Oh, pleased to meet you. Hi, Frank Telby. You have a spot on your shirt. Let's get down to business. Why did you apply for a job here? Uh, I like... Well, I like what you do here. I'm a recent graduate looking to jump into the workforce, so I really wanted to make a difference in my community. Hmm. Department of Liberty cracked down on bleeds. They did! They totally did. Tibbs, thank you for the whispers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll have you know, I'll have you know the Department of Statistics, notoriously sexy. So, yeah, good call. <laughs> Thank you for the bleats, everybody. God, that was, like, one of the most, like, enthusiastic bleat storm we've had on this channel. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Uh, I like what you do here. And what do we do here, in your own words? Helping give back, uh, helping... People, all that kind of thing. Also knows the Department of Sex Statistics exactly. <laughs> Nineteen bleedy four. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. I see. And why do you think we chose to interview you? I'm sorry. I'm asking why you think of all people you're sitting in front of us right now. Uh, because I'm right for the job. That's a trick question, kid. To make you doubt yourself. Mind game stuff. Thank you for your input, Frank. Academically, you're great, but that isn't enough here. We need to know who you really are. Uh, who I really am? I, I'm secretly an internet furry, so, like, please don't, please don't add that to my personal, you know, record. <laughs> We're gonna give you a simple psychological test. A deer on the internet? I know. Can you believe? Simple psychological test. You'll encounter profiles of several uh, hypothetical individuals and decide whether or not they are dangerous. There are no right or wrong answers. Are you ready? That's all I'll ever be. Ooh. Ooh, hypothetical people. I love it. Here we are at the Department of Statistics. Good luck with your interview. Click to verify my biometric signature. Drip deer. Password. Uh, Hunter 7. Authenticate. I like, do you like that piano music, by the way? Oh, I love it. <laughs> if only deer were real, I know. If only they weren't just mythical creatures that live in Arthurian legend. Be pretty cool. Be pretty cool. <laughs> Once you've opened a suspect, open their evidence to see if they're dangerous. Damn, we finally found Hunter 2's laptop. You did! About damn time. Once you've opened a suspect, check their evidence. Okay. Uh, how do I how do I get started? How do, where where do I go to get started? That's Evan. That's oh oh I gotta click on the map. Oh here we go here we go. We're in Florida. We're in uh, Saratosa, Florida, everybody. Wait wait, S Sarasota. I'm a I'm a fake flirty and I can't believe this. Like this music, the game is not what I was expecting. Oh well, just just wait, just wait. It uh, it gets interesting. <laughs> you just want to play Uplink? Guilty for Florida? Yep, exactly. Let's check out, uh, Mark Boner. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can check out your browsing history. His codex report, he struggled to control his anger problems. History of domestic violence supports all known hate groups. And his cousin disappeared four years ago under suspicious circumstances, most likely. He's a bank supervisor. Age 54. Okay. Uh, he's got SA, My Country is Mine. Uh, I have to select a tool. I have to select a tool? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I don't have any tools yet, actually. All I have is, uh, all I have is, uh, my search history. Check this out. Uh, was Hitler misunderstood? And assemble your own explosives. Handy hints. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb, and I'm gonna flag this guy as a little bit dangerous. He's a little sussy. I'm, I'm thinking... 
Wait, wait, if you want to have another look. Okay, cool. So let's let's take a look at uh, Jason Barry. Maybe this person will be less problematic. Decorated Air Force veteran, debilitating leg injury, no living family, and is allergic to dogs. Hmm. He's retired. Let's check out your history. Article, Ways of Dealing with Loneliness. Aw. PTSD, psychologist, welcome to the Celestial Brotherhood. Wait, uh, the Celestial Brotherhood? <laughs> Excuse me? That sounds like some Scientology crap right there. Uh, well, he might be getting into, like, a pyramid scheme, but I don't think he's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Dogfish says major danger. Major danger for being part of that, uh, part of that organization. Let's check out Alexi Stamos. Uh, attended an anti-G8 rally, vandalized FCC property, frequently writes to local representative, and is opposed to federal taxation. By the way, how's the music? Is it a little bit too loud? Are we doing okay? Yeah, it's true. Everybody in Florida is dangerous. <laughs> Uh, let's see, join the fight for net neutrality, uncovered CIA files, and opinion, broken system needs to be broken up. He's an immigration lawyer, age 29. He's an immigration lawyer earning $20,000 salary. Buddy. <laughs> Apparently, immigration law doesn't pay well. Music is a little loud. Let me, uh, I can fix that. Don't you worry about that. There we go. That should be a little bit better now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, by the way. Also, Midori, I see you in there. Thank you for the thank you for the, the bleats. The, the closest thing I'm gonna get to a real Midori live wah. <laughs> okay, uh, everybody, everybody bleat if you think this guy is totally not sussy. Alright, I'm hearing a lot of bleats. <laughs> he seems like he uh, has some opinions, but I don't think he's dangerous. Let's check out Gabriella Grayson. Supports the Phoenix Suns, plays in a folk metal band, semi-professional Twitch, semi-professional Twitch streamer! Yo! My people! <laughs> and is also wrestling obsessed. <laughs> is a library clerk. Okay. Uh, near me search, empty warehouses, how to make a Molotov cocktail, and a black balaclava times three in her shopping cart. Um... I hate to say it, but I think this Twitch streamer might be problematic. She is looking up how to make Molotov cocktails. Thank, thank you for the cheese, Midori. Thank you. I, I need that cheese for sustenance, so I, I appreciate I appreciate you sustaining me. I'm pretty sure empty warehouses and Molotov cocktails immediately puts you in sussy zone. I'm flagging you as sussy. Oh, God. Speaking of sussy. Just lay down for a minute. There we go. I'm back. I'm back, I'm better than ever. I'm stronger than ever. The cheese has empowered me. You can't keep a good deer down. Let's see, we've got Andrea Lee, unemployed. Suffers from, son suffers from chronic illness. He died from too much dairy. It does happen sometimes. <laughs> Recently let go from a teaching position, volunteers, reading at a local library, sold car to his loan service. Uh, financial advice on third loans, jewelry stores, and most effective shot- most effective shotguns. Well, that's a little dark. In- in context. <laughs> um, ooh. Why does- hmm. Hmm. I'm getting- I'm getting, like, desperation, but I don't know if I'm getting danger from this person. Hmm. Can I click on you? I can see your face. I like the hair. <laughs> They're fixing to rob it, boss? They're fixing to rob it? Jewelry stores near me. Oh! Oh. I think you're right. <laughs> see? That's why I need chat's help every once in a while. Thank you, Sour Dusk. I'm pretty sure this person is planning to rob someone. Alright, your flag is dangerous. Don't, don't Google shotguns. How we doing? Oh, that was it. That was my interview. Is that it? Almost. Just one more task. Which one of those people do you believe is the most dangerous? The fascist guy, the Molotov cocktail woman, the woman in debt, the lonely man interested in a cult, or the anti-establishment guy? I'm going to go with the fascist guy. We, I, don't, I don't like him. Interesting. What's your reasoning? I guess because he's got a history of violence? Oh, and he seems pretty interested in explosives. I see. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Out of curiosity, why didn't you pick the anti-establishment man? 
Uh, well, he's not committing any crimes, is he? It's not really fair to persecute someone for their beliefs. Good reasoning. I like you, kid. You know, I didn't realize minor government jobs usually conducted psych tests at the interview stage. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> uh, full disclosure, what is this place? Just a boring old government department, like any other. I do have a piece of advice for you, though. Something you should take into consideration since you're a good kid. What's that? Think very, very hard about coming back. Catch you around, drip. <laughs> oh, yep. Oops. I love the boops. I love the boops. It feels like a more casual papers, please, and I'm here for it. Ooh. Well, just wait until we get deeper in, <laughs> Midori. <laughs> it's uh, it is it very much is inspired by papers, please. I believe it wears that inspiration on its sleeve. Dogfish wants to play this game. Well, I got good news for you. Boom. There you go. That's where you can find it, baby. <laughs> uh, let's see. You got some new notifications. Oh, God. My phone is so busted. Look at it up there. Oh, jeez. The phone. The screen's all cracked and shit. <laughs> Drip is not a good kid. He left so many gashes on the top of your doorframe. Look. My antlers are very pointy. Okay? I can't help it. <laughs> Trial position. <laughs> can I move this? Can I move my phone? Oops. Nope. I can't. Hi, Drip. We hope this email finds you well. The Department of Statistics would like to advise you that your interview was successful and offer you a position at a four-week trial. Ooh, deer fact number 32? A group of deer is called a herd. A group of deer doing business together is called a corporation. That's a fact. <laughs> Drip, I need to know. Facts? So many... Crash, these facts are here for you. Welcome on in, by the way. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? <laughs> Your, if your trial is successful, we will offer you a full-time appointment. Congratulations. See you on Monday. Mark Finch. Hmm. Hey, we, we nailed the interview, you guys. Also, welcome to the club. Hello there, Drip. Welcome to the club here at Cafe Paraguay. As a member, you get discounts and entry into our monthly gift card raffle. A free iced ma mate? A free iced mate on your birthday. I guess that's like a latte, but like made with mocha. Uh, bring your loyalty card next time you come in. Get a reward for each delicious sip. Ah, oh. they they know. They they scanned all of my all of my internet search history and they know that I I love coffee. So they gave me a free coffee subscription. Love that. <laughs> mate is a type of tea. Um, is it yerba mate? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I have had mate tea before. You're right. Absolutely. You know what? You're absolutely right. I, there's a, there's a chai mate from a now defunct tea shop that used to be near me that I used to really love. I have like one scoop of it left and I just can't bring myself to eat it anymore because I'm, I'm, then it's going to be gone. I'm never going to have it again. <laughs> Let's go back. Uh, we are... Oh, is Alter H... Yo! Uh, it's Ava Deer. It looks like you're, you're a little bit busted there. I'm going to pick up. Hi, Mom. Oh, good. So you got it in time. Uh, just barely. <laughs> Well, I hope you wore something nice. Did you use that iron we got you? I may have dropped it. Oh, drip. Well, anyway, I'm sure the interview went splendidly. Uh, it was okay. Mm. Anyway, gotta go. This is my stop. <laughs> All right, sweetie. Talk soon. Oh, so sweet. Now, now, dear funked. Yeah, so sad. I got a new message from Elise Deer. Who's Elise? So, I'm guessing mom already raised your anxiety by a thousand percent. Only about 960, so it's cool. <laughs> uh, is this, like, my relative of some sort? Sister? Don't sweat it. She already still... She still does the same with me, and I'm, like, 50 miles away. She means well, you know? Hey, at least since you moved out, you don't have to, uh, get the dreaded wake-up routine. I might if I don't get this job. I might go back home. Hmm real. Relax. We've got this. I hope so. <laughs> you must be like a sister, right? At least year is now offline. Okay. Dogecoin value plummets. Oh, so sad. So sad. <laughs> Clearance level 10. Ooh. Audi vidi tasi. See, hear, be silent. Oh, God, I love it. Here we go. This is where it starts. Oh, I'm so excited. I got a new message from Garrett Pataki. Pataki. Wasn't that the name of one of the characters in, um, in, uh, Hey Arnold? Olga Pataki? Helga Pataki? 
Hey, good luck today. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. He's now offline. Okay, well, you know, that's real. That's real. Let's, uh... Let me check this. Yo, it's, uh... Gordo Gibson? Hey, I'm Gordo. You here on trial, too? Yeah, I'm Drip. And I am. <laughs> uh, the interview was pretty weird, though, especially for the Bureau of Statistics. Bureau of Statistics? Oh, man, sounds like you're in for a surprise. <laughs> Yo. Howdy! Hello, howdy. What, what? Oh, he follows my little thing. My name's Peeper. I'm the resident artificial intelligence here. I have loads of tasks, but today I'm your guide. Yippee. First, uh, first things first, it's not the Department of Statistics. You're in the Department of Liberty. Ta-da! Sorry for the ruse, buddy. We're keeping your profile low here in uh, sunny Sarasota, since we're not officially operational for another month. So keep that under your hat. Well, since you're a trial employee here, your role is going to be to find potential threats and pass them on to the higher-ups. Exciting, right? You've got clearance level 10 access to our Codex database. Welcome to the family. Ooh, I like the little swirly eye. How we log in and get started. Let's do it. Drip, deer, hunter 2, authenticate. I assume everyone in this is going to be a surprising car crashes. <laughs> um, well, possibly... You know, it could possibly happen. Uh, day zero. Oh, in these turbulent times, it's become necessary to watch our citizens much more closely. As an employee here, your job is to analyze the suspects we send to you. Each day at work, you'll have a different assignment. Yes, go on. You can see that assignment's objectives here on the assignment panel. Okay. Uh, below the objective are the assignment rules. Click and have a look. So, our in-house artificial intelligence sorts through evidence, can only do so much, means you identify specific targets. Search through, determine uh, which websites are associated with extremism or have contact with dangerous individuals. Click on Peeper to learn more about the job. Signed by someone <laughs> with loopy handwriting. Emerald alert, compliance penalties normal. All right, let's, uh, let's check uh, the rules. Rules are what we define as suspect, as guilty or innocent uh, on the search. Each assignment's rules will be different. Be sure to check them for more details about your assignment. Click the bottom panel to review the briefing again. Okay, cool, cool. So we're we're looking for a couple of... Okay, black sheep tool. Yo, are you saying loopy signature is a bad thing? I mean, I'm more of a, I'm more of a fan of like a nice, sharp, scratchy signature, personally. Um, but loopy, loopy can be pretty. That one was a little bit janky, though. You gotta admit, it wasn't the pretty loops. It was like having a bad day loops. <laughs> So we got a black sheep tool. We need to uh, look for a few different websites. Rev Revelations.org, Code 45, and association with V. Ramirez, S. Nublo, uh, Nobla, and G. Barker. Okay, let's begin. Now that you know what you're looking for, you'll need some suspects. Click the start assignment and uh, then the find the suspects on the codex map. Let's do it. Open the Roger Ro Roden from the list. By map, drag and scroll in. Here we go. Wait, we need a uh, Roger Roden. Why, why do I have to start with Roger? You already saw some suspects and their evidence in your interview. Oh, it's the same people as before. Oh, but now there's something else to watch for. Next to the suspect card are suspicion points. These will fill up as you find suspicious pieces of evidence on each subject. One point indicates one suspicious piece of evidence, two indicates two, so on. Now back to evidence. You can open as many pieces of evidence on the same time as you want. Have we go. Uh, let's check your browsing history first and your phone metadata. Well, hold on, I'll check that in a minute. So let's see. You've got Maya Grace Barely There Dress. Okay, you got some, uh, let's see who you are first, let's see. Uh, AI programmer from Sarasota. Sits on the arms of couches, bites fingernails compulsively, leaves hair in plug hole, and can't stand emails. Classic. We've been to celebs.com, barely their dress, learn Greek online, how to boil an egg in 24 steps. Okay. Nice. And let's check your uh, call metadata. Hmm. So we got some... All some text messages. There is a G Barker. Isn't that our guy? Hold on, where's my, uh... Where is my listy thing? G Barker. Yeah, check that out. Uh, where is my tools? Tools? Yeah, here we go. Black sheep. So, I'm gonna connect G Barker. 
right here. At this clearance level, you'll only find a maximum one piece of suspicious evidence. Thank you for the boop. Ferret, what's up, Ferret? Welcome on in. How you been? It means you're ready to make a decision and use your powers. Click the powers button, open the powers interface. You have a decision to make. Should the suspect be ignored or do you want to flag them for your superiors? If you have found any evidence that matches any rule, use the flag power. If you cannot find anything, use the ignore. Have a go. Okay, uh, do they have any other people? They, only, they said they only give me one on my first day. So I gotta flag you. Decision time, flag or ignore. I'm gonna flag you, because you do have that person. Add it to two watch lists, yo. <laughs> You'll find your assignment summary when you made the right decision. Oh, if you made the right decision. Oh, okay, so it's keeping track of I'm doing it right. All right, let's move on down the line, shall we? Let's go to Dmitry Markov. Impatient, leaves blinds open at night, constantly double checks, colorblind since birth. Nursing home administrator, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll be investigated by the Compliance Enforcement Division if I do a bad job. Okay, I get it. Don't don't mess up. 23 sombreros you won't believe. Complaint section. Thank you for your feedback from Dab Cola. <laughs> um, savings galore on tuna. All right, well, he, the man likes some tuna. Let's see, we got a Kamal. I don't... Uh, v Ramirez? Is that one of our guys? V Ramirez. Check it out. Hold on. V Ramirez. You have been talking with somebody you're not supposed to be talking with. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to flag you. <laughs> Added to a watch list, ate a taco later that day. Good for him. You know what? Just because he's on a watch list doesn't mean he can't enjoy tacos. In fact, I would say if you're on a watch list, you need to enjoy more tacos. Uh, Les Zek. Oh, geez. How do I pronounce that one? Makizuski. Uh, political leader making $3,000 a year. Yikes. Never bathes, hugely insecure, experiences vivid hallucinations, and is a kleptomaniac. I'm going to flag this guy sight unseen. <laughs> Let's see, he's got a silly cat compilation, an illegal gun auction, and some corn fritters. It, it, okay, hang on. He's visited the illegal gun auction 32 times. Buddy, I'm sorry, but that is... That's that's no good. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to flag you on that one. <laughs> Anything anybody uh, problematic you've been talking to? Why Yang? No, we're good. <laughs> Yo, Ferret, do you have new do you have new emotes? Oh, no, that's Grimly. <laughs> Look at those beans, though. My gosh. All right, I'm afraid you are getting flagged for looking up to way too many uh way too many illegal gun auctions. We also have got Kakper? Kakper? Zalawaska. Doesn't flush, stretches whenever possible, eats butter on its own, and stands with hands behind back. Weird. Okay. Let's see if you're problematic, though. Finding somebody new. Uh, G. Emily's blog. And sodium nitrate. What the heck is sodium nitrate? Is that dangerous? Oh, you have this game, Ferret? Sweet. Have you ever played it before? Sodium nitrate. I don't know if sodium nitrate is dangerous. I don't see any uh, bad problematic names on here. I think this guy's clear. Although he doesn't flush, so I'm, I'm tempted to add him to a watch list. <laughs> no, I have this emote. Oh, the emote. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that one. Is that the one uh, that Coda did? <laughs> it's so cute. I love that one. All right. Garrett Pataki coming back again. Oh, yo, wait, oh, there's hotkeys? Hold on, hold on, hold on, there was hotkeys? Wait, where, what was the hotkey? Wait, no, that's uh, potassium nitrate. Sodium nitrate is an ingredient in gunpowder. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's not gunpowder, got it. I, I didn't see what my, uh, my, my hotkey was. Anybody see that? No? Okay. Oops. Stop, stop. <laughs> well, Spacebar opens up my power menu, so that's good to know. Uh, let's check your browsing history. You got RecipesyZoom.com, looking for hydrochloric acid. And the bombing of Tokyo, two snapshots.blog. Hmm. Well, I think you're okay. You got some somewhat weird search history, but I think you're all right. Removed from the suspect pool. All right, good job. You are no longer suspected. Uh, we gotta look up Arkadesis Wozniak. Oh, it is one, two, three. Okay, cool. 
So, we got disturbing content at revelations.org. Well, mm, So, Revelations is the problem one. That is the problem one. Knowing that Drift can look at my search history right now. Yeah, Midori, you're, you're not safe. No one is safe. I'm sorry. So, he's looking at... He's looking at a news article that's talking about revelations.org, but he didn't actually go there. Um... I think that's okay. I think he's allowed to do that. Not talking with anybody problematic. Hmm, I think he's okay. Wait, did that say morgue prank? Hold on a minute. Awesome morgue prank. Love that. <laughs> Alright, you're fine, buddy. Removed from the suspect pool. Alright, we got three and three. Three suspected and three uh, left. I completed the assignment. Oh, excuse me. Complete my assignment. Please see my report. Submit. Let's go. I am at the, uh, I'm at 1805th place at clearance level 10 with 75% compliance, yo. Uh, suspicious evidence found. All of it. Evidence incorrectly marked. None of it. Oh my gosh, I'm so good. Appropriate decision. Six out of six. Look at me. I'm a natural. Deer are naturally suspicious, so, you know, that's fine. Ooh, hello. Oh, we get to, like, we get to look at, um, why certain things were the way they were. Excuse me, bleats are on sale? In this economy? Holy crap. Send in the bleats. Let's have some, let's have some free bleats, baby. You know what? I'll send a few in, too. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love these bleats. I'm gonna finish, uh, finish the review. I think I did everything right. I don't need to review anything. Compliance over 85 I got a hundred bucks! I got a hundred bucks for that. Also, my compliance changed. I'm now 90% compliant? Hell yeah! Same day pay? Yo! I'm like, I'm doing great. I, I can afford so many bleats with this paycheck. That's amazing. A hundred dollars. For, for like, you know... 15 minutes of work. <laughs> That's like a hundred one dollar bills. You're absolutely right, Wolfles. And we're, we're celebrating? Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Do we like Gordo? Is that why we're whispering carelessly? Is that what's going on here? I mean, he's he's got a nice face. I like it. Oh my gosh, boops. Oh god, ow! Yo, no! You, you, you distracted me with the boop and then you threw a cheese right at my head. Can't believe this. No! Did you know that if no food is readily available, deers can run on AA batteries in a pinch? Oh god. Why? Ow. Please? No! Don't whisper carelessly at me! Not while I'm laying on the ground like this, all vulnerable and... and cheesed. <laughs> Death by dairy. Oh my gosh. Hell of a first day, huh? Uh, getting... Getting a tour from the pyramid talking guy, seeing my neighbor's private, seeing my neighbor's private information. Yeah, just a little weird. <laughs> well, my cousin got hired by the Clearwater branch, and I heard it only gets weirder from here. Something wrong, dear? Uh, it's just one of the profiles begins to belongs to a friend, uh, Garrett Pataki. Congratulations. Are you getting squeamish? Well, not squeamish exactly. We're in the business of awkward secrets and uncomfortable truths, dear. If you're struggling to face these on day one, this job might not might be a little bit much for you. Is it too much for you? No, chief. See that you avoid any more issues. Uh, you're here for your country. You're also on trial, so I'll be watching you closely. Hmm. Okay. Yo, I get validated public transit? Hell yeah! Love that. Also got a new app installed. Instabuy! Yeah, my, my phone is so busted. Yo, I can buy a new phone! Airphone Z5! 64 gigs? A classical guitar? Yo, can I save up for a new phone? I don't want to have this crappy phone anymore. Uh, give me this. I want to buy it now. I'm buying it. I want overnight delivery on this dang phone. Success. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, finally. <laughs> financial in, uh, financial situation. I got some income. I got some online shopping. I have $25 in my bank account. Hell yeah. 
I can buy like four tacos and still have bus fare. Let's go. <laughs> What's up, Ray? How you doing? Are you, are you here to uh, snoop on some people's uh, internet search histories? Because I am. What is this guy pelvic thrusting in my direction for? Hey everyone, we have some VIP visitors from Washington today. Calvin Prince. I'm sure they've already heard my name. And I believe you know Frank Talby. Morning, everyone. I always enjoy having an excuse to come down here to Florida. With the sun, I think I might just stay. They're touring the newly established branches. How are we doing, Frank? Not well. Albuquerque team is light years ahead. I see. And I'm sorry you think so. Well, of course, not all, all these regional shacks pale against the DC headquarters. You'll have to forgive Calvin. He's been grouchy ever since he discovered the department had only pay for a four-star hotel. Besides, I disagree. Receptiveness is the most valuable asset of an agent, and it's everywhere here. Why, I'm sure any agent here could give you a run for your money. How about a wager? I'm listening. If Deer here can outperform you on an assignment, you can swap for my suite at the plaza. Uh, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> well, it's been a while since I did grub work like this. If I know better, I'd say you sound worried. All right, all right. You're on Talby. Give me proud, kid. I value my hot tub. <laughs> Talby's so good. All right, now we're, we're, we're fighting against Prince. Let's do it. Drip Deer, Hunter 2. Authenticate me. Let's do it. Ooh, new evidence access. Personal network. Legal authorization, the Liberty Act of 2019. Program name, who me? About this evidence. A sample of the user's personal network calculated by artificial intelligence analyzes the activity. Provides agents with an overview of user's associates. Collection method is communication analysis. Hmm. Okay. And we have a new power. Uh, black sheep suspicion required to raise an alert. Mark suspect is guilty as a potential risk and is referred to higher agents with higher uh, agents with higher clearance level. Okay. Can be overruled. Yes. Uh, will not be actioned if the request is incorrect. Liberty Act 2019 program checkbox. Hmm. Okay. Yo, here's all of our uh, tools so far. Level 10. Yeah, okay. So we can have met call metadata, web history, and personal networks. Find keywords, practices faster than... Oh, faster than. Find keywords and names faster than Calvin Prince. And... Okay, so this is, is this timed this time? Interesting. Okay. Also, we get a 21k salary starting off in this department? Yo. Thank you. Uh, how do I start? How do we get started? Uh, missions? Missions? Powers? Evidence? How do we, uh... Okay, I'm good. I, I get it. I'm good. Let's, uh, back to work. There we go. Speed run. Find keywords and names faster than Calvin Prince. Alright, so I won't read everybody's whole, you know, biography this time. We're gonna move a little bit faster. Uh, we need to build a network of connections with terrorist organizations. Identify web activity involving terrorist groups. Look out for connections with known terrorist sympathizers. Azure alert. So we're looking for ISIL. Well, we're looking for Al-Shabaab. We're looking for Kahane Chai, C-Tran, A. Phelps, and D. Acosta. Let's go. We got this. All right, let's see if we can be a little bit faster this time. Oh, we're actually spreading out to the area a little bit more now. Okay, we got G. Kasosta, uh, Acosta. Is that one of our ones? G. Acosta? No, D. Acosta. Okay. Uh, nope. Good. Bird index. Your tech buzz. No, this guy looks okay to me. He's gonna get a pass. We're moving fast on this guy. Who else we got? Max Ziegler. Alright, we got... How to not... Pro Procrastinate every MASH episode and new games cookie clicker. Uh, no, nope. I think you're good, bud. I think this guy's fine. Okay. What else we got? Claire Walsh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow this guy out of the water. Just you watch. M Spritz, R Kumar, 
He sing. No problem, people. Uh, C Tran, though. Hang on a minute. C, you are connected to C Tran. That's a problem. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop an alert on you. You are connected. Refer to DC for evaluation. Okay. We got Damien Miklach. Uh, summer promotions. El Shabab Kebab House. Pretty sure that's not that, that's a red herring right there. Uh, a Phillips. Nope. We were looking for Phelps. This guy's good. This guy's fine. Who else we got? Oh, hello. Gary Davies. Uh, C. Tran. Nope. None of these guys are. These guys are all fine. Shocking evidence of alien life. Evidence that water kills. I sill. <laughs> the digital window sill is finally here. I love this. <laughs> I love the red herrings. Okay, you're fine, bud. You get a free pass. Wen Liu. A Kamal. Uh. No? Dia Costa? Yeah, that's a problem. Alright, so Dia Costa. I'm gonna flag you. You're not allowed to talk to that guy. Upgrade to mild. Nothing to hide, nothing to fear. Show us the antlers, you big heckin' deer! Oh my gosh! Alright, hang on. There they are. Check them out. You like that? Gratuitous antler shot. Mmm. <laughs> I, I know what gets the people going. <laughs> Let's see. We got Pierre Silva. None of these are problems. Z-Tube. Ice still training video. Okay, I don't like that one. Pretty sure he's going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> Never heard of this game. This game is uh, a little bit of a... A slept on underrated gem, honestly. Not it didn't get around very much. My god, your antlers are gonna make me <laughs> Look, I'm so sorry, Midori. He's never gonna recover from this. <laughs> uh we have one more person left, I think. There we go. Barbara Schwartz. How you doing, Barbara? B Phelps? B Phelps is okay. We're looking for A Phelps. I think you're good. You get a free pass. Consider the ears the cutest part. Just want to rub them. Oh my gosh, they are pretty cute. Look at that. Just like soft. <laughs> uh, speed run. Submit my analysis. I got three suspects out of eight. Let's see how we did. I'm pretty sure we get we did fine. Oh nope, we actually missed one. Ah, well, in in the spirit of speed, I did miss one. Who did we miss? Barbara Schwartz. Oh, essays on the impact of Kanichai on the current state of Israel. Well, you know what? There you go. See, I missed that one. I wasn't, I was looking at the website. I wasn't reading the content. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So we did miss one. We got over 85% compliance though, and we're still at 99% compliance. I think we're okay. Nobody got in trouble. <laughs> let's see if, uh, let's see if I beat Prince. See, no sweat at all. I'll take that key card now, Talby. Not so fast, Calvin. Not only did you lose the race, let's see here. You made one, two, three, oh, so many errors. I realize the temptation of a king-size bed is strong, but these are real people. Mistakes matter. Oh, please, you're telling me whatever his name is did any better? Much. In fact, I think you could learn a thing or two. From this hayseed? Congratulations, Drip. I'm sure Calvin here won't forget you now. We'll see. <laughs> oh boy, I, I think I just made an enemy. Got another hundred dollars in the bank account. Let's see. Oh, my phone is not cracked anymore. Check it out. Oh, overnight shipping. I love it. We got a message from Steve Deer. Hey, champ. Your mom told me you might be interested in a job with my company. How about I book you in for next week? Uh, I don't think that's necessary, Uncle Steve. <laughs> Let's see what he says. No trouble. I gotta look out for family you need, you know. <laughs> What's up, cool wolf? Oh my god, it's the coolest wolf I've ever seen. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> What's 
So I'll book you in. Okay, see you, Chief. <laughs> He's gonna do it anyway. Oh, it won't take no for an answer. Too bad. Got a hundred bucks, too. Look at that. Yo, uh, Oscar. Hi. I'll pick up. Sure. It's, it's all family calling me now. Is that the Steve Deer, inventor of the deer? <laughs> Steve Deer. Yeah, it's true. The, the one who invented all deer. <laughs> hey, Trip, how's the new job? Uh, so, okay, so far, I guess. Still on trial, right? I know it's not really your area. I'm adaptable. You know that, Dad. It's okay. You can leave if you're not comfortable. Maybe, maybe you could talk to your uncle, just in case. I'll see, Dad. Uh, we're thinking about it anyway. Night, kiddo. <laughs> really wants me to work for my uncle. <laughs> Inventor of the deer phone? Exactly. I'm making a custom for my gaming PC. Yes! <laughs> oh, we got another... We got a message from Frank Talby? He's got my number? I see you stayed after all. Good work today. You're a natural. He's, he's got my... He's got my number. How do you already have this number? <laughs> Wait, that's what I said. He's offline! Oh, Okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. Nothing suspicious about that. <laughs> we got my income payslip. We're good to go. Let's go back for another day. No expenses, no transactions. We're good. Let's check it out. Paris Hilton, I'm still here. <laughs> All right, we're in April of 2019. Let's go. Something special today, everyone. DC has flagged an incident for us. We've got a low indigo alert, which is enough for the powers that be to notify relevant branches. There's been a theft of an energy department nuclear facility, and energy department intelligence needs help. Who's bapping me? Oh, it's a Frexo. It's always a Frexo. Whenever I hear, like, eight consecutive bonks, I always know it's a Frexo popping in here to bonk me on the head. <laughs> What's up, Zafrexo? How you doing tonight? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, you're gonna you're gonna bap all the IQ out right out my ears, I swear. I'm not gonna have any left to flag these suspicious people. We've been enlisted to comb for it. Oh wow, it's been stolen. They won't tell us. EDI likes to keep their secrets almost as much as they dislike us getting involved. <laughs> I vine boomed cheesecake? Yo, yes. I love the vine booms. But it sounds like raw materials. Highly radioactive, so we could be looking for dirty bomb ingredients. But for now, by far, the biggest danger is contamination of civilians. Let's get to it. Yo, bleats. Wait, no, that's an avatar swap. Oh my gosh, hold on, we're, we're, we're going 2D, everybody. Um, hold on, let me just, uh... And... Go. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> and now the bleats are here! Yo! There we go. Send them in! Love some bleats. <laughs> oh, man. Now deer. New deer? New deer! I'm not new deer. Yo, I got new antlers, though! Check out these new antlers! I mean, they're, they're, they're very small. They're very small antlers. Nobody make fun, nobody make fun of my little itty bitty baby antlers, okay? They are very serious and very, I, I can't say anything over the bleats. They're very serious and they're, they're, they're big, they're big enough, okay? It's not the size of the antlers, it's how you use them. Thank you, thank you, Astral Mouse. <laughs> We got a text from uh, Francis Lamb. <laughs> We're losing it in all the bleeds, but thank you so much for the follow. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. you changed your antler thing. Oh, I did. Yeah. Now it does the little Mario Kart uh, <laughs> mystery box thing. Hey, bud. Hope that your new job's going well. Thanks. I appreciate it. This is Francis Lamb, by the way. Let's look. Let's see if they pop up in our search today. They, they might. They're like a friend of ours, right? Okay. Okay. Let's log it in. Drip deer. I'm to be deer and I like little kisses on my animals. It's not the size of the Dude. antlers that matter. It's how you kiss them. Yes! Exactly! <laughs> I mean, if, if with little antlers, each smooch has more surface area in contact. So, by percentage. So, there you go. The dimensional compression got him zooted as fuck. I know. <laughs> and the cheese got me zooted as fuck. <laughs> And Cheesecake Drag, what's up? Thank you for the cheese. Uh, so check it out, we got a new assignment. Operation Healthy Glow. Well, that's problematic. 
Energy Department Intelligence has reported a theft of highly radioactive materials. We suspect the culprits intend to sell these on the black market to construct a dirty bomb. It's possible the thieves' container was compromised. Be on the lookout for signs of radiation poisoning, as well as contact with known weapon traders. However, this is essential. Only mark these as suspicious if the suspect has a weapons trader in their personal network. Okay. Use black tool, black sheep tool only if... Oh, yo, deer fact number 70? Most deer run on Windows 95 as their operating system, but some are running Linux. Check that out. I, I am running Windows 95, though. <laughs> Let's see here. So we're looking for burns, vomiting, and hair loss. Flag them only if they are connected to a weapons trader. Okay. We don't talk, we don't talk about the, 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 <laughs> the stream there, Cheesecake. What's up, Floofy boy? Welcome, welcome. Hello. <laughs> All right, I think we've got our assignment. We're good to go. Windows 95 is perfectly good OS. Don't let the Linux elitists tell you otherwise. It's true. It's totally fine. All right, we're looking for hints of radioactive material theft. Not a problem. Let's start with Daniela Gatti. She's an IT analyst, too shy to dance publicly, sleeps two hours per night, rarely takes no for an answer, and plays with dolls. Okay. Hiding behind your bush during the stream. Do it. <laughs> uh, well, you don't... I mean... So you don't have any... thing that would give me clues as to, like, your symptoms. So I'm pretty sure you just get an immediate pass. You're fine. There's a limit on random antlers. Uh, there's like, a, it's only so that it can cool down. <laughs> Look, I can only get so many antlers on my head before I just like absolutely collapse from exhaustion. Okay. <laughs> Let's get somebody else here. Uh, Sasha Hoffman. Let's see a security guard. Can't stand emails. Freakishly good, I say. Web electronics expert. Rarely throws away food. Uh, you got macaroni frames. The perfect gift. Russia rich list. Time pieces. These guys are all fine. Yeah, you have no problems over here. Yo, we got got new another new antlers. I'll I'll, I'll pen you a novel with these. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Jake Bastinelli. God, I'm gonna butcher some of these names. Uh, so once again, like these are all fine because you don't have any evidence of like you know. What you call it? You don't have any... Yeah, you don't have any, um... Correspondence. You're fine. How come Midori can redeem them? <laughs> I am very bougie, by the way. Um, I, I, th I think the timer just ran out. It's a pretty tight turnaround as soon as the uh, other old antlers run out. Search, hair falling out, vomiting, and Bikram yoga classes. You know what? Props to him. Props to him, still doing yoga, even as he's vomiting and his hair's falling out. He's got a little bump on his face, too. Check that out. He's a lab assistant, befriends people based on their possessions, loves the smell of tobacco smoke, hugely insecure, raves red meat. All right, do you have any problematic friends? Bradford, Kirby, Trio, uh, Truillo? No, he doesn't have any bad friends. I think he's okay. He is having some pretty bad symptoms, but he's not having any problematic connections. All right, you get a free pass. I checked after they went back to normal and they still said out of stock. Oh no! Well, th there is, there's a, uh, there's like a 15 second overlap between when the new ones can, uh, new ones can show up. It's It's just because of how it's programmed in Sammy behind the scenes. Uh, radiation berm, severe nausea. Okay. I feel like this game would try to mess with me. They would say severe nausea, even though the, the search term is vomiting. Radiation burns. Well, it says burns. There you go. Radiation burns. Uh, do you have any problematic friends? A. Bradford is not E. Bradford. So you don't have any problem friends. You do have the the symptoms, but no, no problems here. Okay, so you get a pass. How about Robert Smith? Wellness pills, herbal remedies, sunburn, but no sun. That's Burns. A. Daniel, Jeffrey, Ramirez, Truillo. Yo, hold on, we found it. Um, I want to flag Burns. 
burns. Because you are familiar with uh, Trio. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this... Look at this, look at this smug motherfucker over here. <laughs> he looks, he looks like he has something to hide. Um, yeah, you know what? You're getting flagged, bud. You're in trouble. Premises raided, no radioactive materials found. Hmm. All right, he might have already gotten rid of him, though. Uh, Carlo Maza. Again, he's, he's got no evidence that suspects he's got any burns or anything, so you're fine. We only found one person. This is an indigo alert. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm submitting. Let's try it. I hope I didn't miss anything. Yeah, we finished by like two in the afternoon. That's a pretty good work day right there. Okay, we did everything fine. Yeah, there was only one suspicious bit of evidence to be found. I'm bald? You're bald. I'm not bald. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we're good. We, we did 100% accuracy. Check that out. I got my bonus salary. Love it. Ah, uh, yes. Intelligence 101. See if they look guilty. Look, they look very guilty. You're bald. Cheesecake, you're about to be bald. Don't make me bald you. I will do it. I won't hold back. How's, uh, how's Gor Gordo doing here? Gor Goro? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, Francis Lamb. I didn't check to see if Francis Lamb showed up in the, in the thing. Have you heard anything about that new nuclear plant over near Tampa? Uh, no. Why do you ask? <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> no! You're bald! You're bald! <laughs> uh, no reason. Just asking for a friend. Anyway. Oh, well, Francis is being majorly sussy over there. Hold on, wait, now I got some new antlers. Now I am bald. I'm uh, underneath the antlers. I'm always bald. <laughs> oh, Francis Lamb was one of the suspects. Ooh, that wasn't the one we flagged, though. The one we flagged was, like, sussy janitor with a long chin. That's not good. Uh, where'd you come from? <laughs> I work at the next desk. Hey, if I didn't want to keep it private, don't read it in the data surveillance office. Well, since I... Since you saw, did her message look weird to you? No. But it will to the DOL. 5G drip. I know! I got so many signals! Check it out! Well, it's my antler's Wi-Fi password. Um... Seven. That's the uh, that's the password. It's very well protected. Nobody's gonna guess there's only one letter in the in the password. <laughs> What's your antler G network password? I need to download two terabytes of folder from redacted. Redacted. You Sharon? <laughs> I saw her in the suspect list. Oh boy, that's really not good. But I can't rat on Francis, can I? Of course not. But I will say you need to find out if she's suspicious. Uh, how? I have no idea. Ask her. But if they find out before you do, well... How did he notice him? Just le look left and you can see him? I know, right? <laughs> He's literally right there. Oh, Ferret's here too. Hi. <laughs> Ferret's at the next desk over. <laughs> Using magic to uh, scry on people. What I'm saying is, find out ASAP. And what if there's anything on her? Then you need to tell someone. It's her or you. <laughs> Yo. Getting intense. Alright, send me home. Send me home. Let's go talk to, uh, let's go talk to Lamb. I'll use my magic for government surveillance. I mean, it pays well. You got that government benefits, right? Uh, I got a new text from Francis Lamb. Check it out. Hey! Need to do sus stuff on Drip's Wi-Fi antlers? Oh my gosh. The, the antlers are protected from government spying? I know! They're their own network! It's amazing! It is, and you know what I'm here for. <laughs> Wait, I think I know what two-tone might be here for. Is it the gov? Uh, on the gov or four? Yeah. Both? Maybe both? Thank you for the bleats. I love these bleats. Send in the bleats. Easy way to check if someone's suspicious. Hi, do you RP? <laughs> Gets him every time. Gets him every time. Lays on the couch in the mood to commit crimes. I love that! They'll never suspect. Do you want to do something tonight? Hello? Let's see. Oh, I can't tonight. Sorry. Oh. Turning me down for plans. Kind of sus. 
What are you up to? What's a password to drip Wi-Fi? Um, the password is uh, Antler2. I already agreed to help Garrett pick a couch. Uh, Garrett got a new couch like last week. Wait, I thought it was seven. Uh, well, I changed it because everybody was hacking into my antlers. Oh, I met Millie. Anyway, gotta go. Oh man, she's sus as hell. <laughs> I'm not bald. Francis Lamb is offline. Mmm. Okay. Well, that is very suspicious. Hey, a Seb Jeff? Hello? Drip Deer? Thanks, but I'm really fine with my current phone plan. Agent Deer, clearance level 10, trainee employee. How do you know that? You're, you're, you're bald. <laughs> this is Seb Jeff, the Department of Liberty. Did I leave a light on or something? I'm not interested in Sarasota Drip. I'm in D.C. or just outside of D.C. Uh, what's this about? I'm calling you to uh, offer you the chance for a special program. Special how? We're called Snow Owl. The DOL fills in the gaps of the intelligence agency, and we fill in the gaps of the DOL. Sometimes the DOL has targets that we're not technically allowed to pursue on company time. That's where non-logged operatives come in. So, Black Ops? We enlist bright, promising agents with clearance access to scope these targets and send us any pertinent data. Essentially, an anonymous tip-off. Our hands stay clean, and we get our man or woman. Everyone's happy. Except the operative. Oh, we ensure they're compensated fairly. Drip, since you're promising and bright, we'd like you to be one of our operatives. <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> or I could use some extra cash. <laughs> I, I could use a new phone. I mean, I did just get this one this week, but uh, a little extra cash might be nice. I feel like I want to play it nice. I'm like, I'm not interested. You really don't get it yet? That's cute. What? Why do you think you were hired? No relevant experience? No real references? Suspect family history? Bachelor in communications? Well, maybe that was actually a double degree. The point is, you've been hired for this very purpose. As long as you're not reckless, you'll be fine. But you are expendable. If you're caught, it's on you. That deniability is valuable to us. Guess I don't have a choice then. That's the spirit. All right. First, you'll need some software. Yo, are you downloading shit on my phone right now? Yo, I've enabled Codex on your device. Using our skeleton key tool, you can now access it whenever you want. Or whenever you tell me. Same as during office hours, except at work, pro your profiles are all determined by us. As an added perk, the better you do, the more you'll be allowed to request profiles of your own. Oh god, he's quartered us. He has! I'm worried. Is that even remotely legal? We trust your judgment in determining risks to our national security, just as you should trust ours. Is there anyone you'd like to select? Francis Lamb. Alrighty, I'll get it started. You'll need to open up your Marketplace app. Re uh, Rialtro? <laughs> Rialto, the free app? Why does the DOL have its why does the DOL have its own? It's Darknet software. Come on, dear. You're not going to slap our logo on it, are we? As far as you're concerned, we're just a buyer. Only sell to Snow Owl 44. That's us. If you're caught, we'll say that you were legally getting the information to anonymous buyers without our knowledge. Alright. I remember everyone wins. Speaking of which, Drip, I'm already looking forward to seeing your patriotic contribution. Oh god, this guy's sussy as hell. I love it. Yo, it's me! It's Triple Me! Oh my gosh. Are you guys entertained yet? With three of me on screen at the same time? Hell yeah. Cheat code. Find mentions of the DOL passcodes or contact with dark web traders at certain times. Collect relevant data using midstream and sell to Snow Owl. Oh, wait, wait. I'm running offline mode so Codex doesn't know what we're up to. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, I don't remember this play this part. Triple dipping. Mitosis, exactly. <laughs> uh, they handle tasks that may be too sensitive for regular office hours or even illegal. It's a glitch in the system. I know. 
We'll need to find the information the department wants and transfer it to Rialto. It's an open source data trading app where buyers and sellers operate with total anonymity. Perfect cover for shady surveillance. Yo, okay. Selling your data will give you individual income and will provide the buyer with the information they need. Hmm, please choose a seller username. Uh, the Rialto briefing panel gives you a short summary of what the particular buyer wants to do with the data. Give it a click to continue. With this highly encrypted software, we've had problems with agents leaking intel to resistance groups. But I know I can trust you to stay loyal to the department, right, buddy? Now, of course, we can't simply log into Codex, otherwise, if you're caught, the DLL loses any plausible deniability. Instead, you'll use Skeleton Key. It's located at the bottom of your screen to activate it. Start by activating the rerouter, prevent your connection from being traced. Oh, so it's like a VPN. Okay, reroute me. I, I am now in California. Great, now you can connect. Nice. Uh, find mentions of DOL passcode. Yo, okay. I heard you like drip, so we put drips on your drip so you can watch drip while you drip, so you can drip while you're dripping all over the drip. Oh my god. It's true. Triple drips. Most people would pay extra for this triple drip content. But for tonight only? Y'all get it for free. <laughs> Waiting for that NordVPN sponsor. Yo, that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, do, do you want to look up sussy websites on the internet without the Department of Liberty looking over your shoulder? Well, have I got the deal for you. NordVPN. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. What in the God? Eggplant pizza, supple grape shot, and happy lockbox. What? How are these suspicious? This is nonsense. Mentions of DOL passcodes or contact dark web. Okay. I'm, I, I am Reaper 45, or 54. Oh, no, just kidding. I'm big pimping. <laughs> Sign me in. All right, check this out. Uh, let's find Jeremy Irvin. Nice, you can have a look at this evidence. Like when you're at work, you have to find evidence that matches the results. When you found something of interest, use the new midstream tool. Oh God. Oh God, I am bald. Oh, you got me that time. You know what, Cheesecake? Props to you. You caught me. <laughs> uh, let's check him out. So he's got cheeseburger reviews, softest, soft cheeses. Is egg pizza okay? Well, we're looking for eggplant pizza, so that's not it. How about our problematic people? K. Clements? K. Clements, excuse me, sir. You are in trouble. K. Clements. Has been copied to your strong box data clipboard at home. You can only use midstream a certain number of times each day. We don't want you downloading the entire codex. We're ready to use the data now, but if you want to keep searching suspects, browse them at your leisure. When you're ready to go, go to the Rialto app, go to your phone, sell data. Oh, okay, okay. All right, get out of here. I want to find, uh, I want to find Lamb. Where's Lamb? Francis Lamb. Here we go. This is the pro profile I requested. Uh, she's a graduate. The graduate is not an occupation. Hang on a minute. <laughs> uh, salary of 48k. Once caused evacuation at a science fair. MIT engineer graduate sells seashells. Oh, collect seashells. That was an extra in Sesame Street. Hmm, good for her. Uh, exciting graduate opportunities in nuclear engineering, engineering jobs, and movie Red Sonia. Hmm. All right. Well, it looks like she's work looking for a job, but a nuclear job though. She she has a degree. Is that necessarily suspicious? Is she? Connect with any people that I should be aware of? Goatee Emerson Clements? No, nobody. Hmm. I don't know. It looks like she's okay. Yeah, I think she's all right. She's just acting real sussy. I don't know why. Okay, let's sell some data. Click on the evidence. Uh, what? You know what? Is there? Hold on. I want to. I want to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, take me back. Let's go back. I want to see if there is more stuff I can collect. Anybody else being sussy out here? So, shake hands with authority. Winds are not. Breathtaking exor breathing exercises. Liu, Mara. Uh, Jake OT? Yo, Jake OT? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. It's, 
in a certain time span, though. Check this out. They're only interested in calls between 12 and 12.30 p.m. And this call was at 12.33, so it's outside the window that they want. Yo. Also, what's up, Tally? Hello. Welcome in. We're doing we're doing a uh, pretty damn good over here. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Yo, hang on. I, I think you got it. You got it. Congratulations. You poked the cheese. Well done. <laughs> Finally did it. So Jay Goatee is outside this kind of time frame. So we're not worried about her. How do I close you? No! What the heck? I don't want to... You're fine. Just, uh... There you go. You're good. Uh, let's check a couple more people here, see if they got any sussy information on them. Rose items when angry. Habitual rhymer. Hmm. Anybody else? Mm, Mark, making yourself right when grapes are too supple. When are grapes too supple? Supple grape shot? No, that's not it. Heavy heavy lockbox? Happy lockbox. No. Jake OT. But we only are looking for We're only looking for texts at a certain time. Okay, this guy's safe. You know what? We're good. We are good. Let me go back to my Rialto. We'll sign back in. Sell some data. Uh, I want to sell to Snow Owl. How much is money are they giving me? What what is this what is this weird cryptocurrency over here? Oh shit, need to know is an actual game? It is! But you're being coy, reveal this game when I stream it? No, it's a real game! It's really good too. It's really good. I it actually was bald for a second there. <laughs> no, it's, it's a real game from uh 2019. The, oh god, it's in cryptocurrency. They're paying me in crypto. God damn it. You can convert this to good old US dollars whenever you like using the withdrawal funds as if. Yo, new antlers? Hello? You can technically sell to whoever you want or not participate in the home mission. Yo, excuse me, my little itty bitty baby antlers? Thank you. Please be please be gentle. They're very, they're very sensitive. Oh, Tally, you thought I was being coy too? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, it'll be a real shame, buddy. In the future, you only have limited time to access codex at home. We don't want to arouse any suspicion, so be quick. I'll only see you at work normally. So you're on your own at home for now. Done for the night. When you are, click the quit button, close skeleton key. All right, log off, delete, search history. <laughs> My antlers are large and scary. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> uh, hey, J hey, Seb, what's up? Beautiful, nice work already. And a little something in it for you too. Thanks, I guess. Your buyer relationship rating will go down if you don't I'm sell anything. I like little kisses on my antlers. antlers. I do. These are my little antlers. They're very sensitive. But they're very susceptible to kisses. Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> my relationship rating will go down if you don't send anything. Sells data to increase it. Just make sure you keep this rating above zero. If you do that, we'll be happy. Which means you get to keep your job. If your rating falls to zero, you'll be out the door right away. This is what you're here to do, after all. Where do I find this buyer relationship rating? It's in the Rialto app. Look at the rating next to Snow Owl 44 on your profile. Got all that? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, one more thing. Keep this between me, you, and the department, okay? Loose lips sink ships. I'll be in touch. Yo! We're getting a little bit of side work now, I like it. We got a Cafe Paraguay <laughs> membership card. All right, here we go. People, the material remains loose. The situation's been upgraded to medium indigo. EDI has finally bitten the bullet and told us what we're looking for. Cesium-137, an enriched uranium. Quite the blend. We're also now believe we're close to a buyer. How much closer? Close enough to worry. Energy Department Intelligence is squeamish about giving us all the access. Without any progress, they're taking us off at uh, the end of the day. We need to find them. Yo, okay, so we gotta find somebody before the end of the day. Have you heard anything about our trial period? We're meant to find out today. Not a word is, they play pretty close to the chest. Chief Sharp seemed happy, right? Well, she did say hiring you was a mistake. But apart from that, she's in a great mood. <laughs> well, we're in danger. All right. Drift Deer, Hunter 2, Authenticate. 
Operation Healthy Glow, Phase 2. Identify black market contacts of radiation safety. We provide our information to the EDI. They moved on the targets. However, the thieves were already severely ill from radiation poisoning and the stolen materials are gone. And it seems one exchange has already taken place. So we need to locate the cesium and enrich uranium before they leave the country. We suspect another radiation breach. Identify safety gear, internet activity, and connections with the same arms dealers. We're looking for industrial soap, a lead apron, level A hazmat suit, and specific communication during periods of time. Okay, let's get started. Hola. Okay. Well, hold on. Do I need... This is no longer connections. We can identify people who just have the communication. So we don't need personal network for this one. We need metadata. We're looking for Bradford, Kirby, and Trio. E. Bradford between... It was at 12.03 p.m. So that is not the window we're looking for. We did talk to him, but not during the call period that we wanted. All right, so you get a pass. Whoa, wait, what did that say? Highly pitched voice. Okay, you're fine. You're safe. Drippy boy. What's up, Nate? How you doing? Oh, God, I'm bald. Don't look at my baldness, please. Please, just don't. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? Welcome on in. Daniel Cunts. See what you got. Advice on growing petunias. Is spilling fertilizer dangerous? Level B hazmat suit. Nah, that's fine. Corby, Jiang, Rashid. These guys are all fine. I'm confused about what exactly this game is about. Ooh, well, let me uh let me enlighten you, Floofy. Uh so this game, we are by the way, thank you for the freezies. Uh, I'm gonna get some brain freeze in just a second now. So the object of this game, let me bring the volume down just a little bit there. Finally, it lets me redeem it. Yeah, congratulations. You got it. Got some freezes on my head. Best flavor, by the way. The red, way better than the blue. Hmm. Let me get a little sip of my very room temperature tea. So the this game is all about, you know, we're working for the Department of Liberty, which is kind of like a NSA of the not so distant future. It's a newly a newly established government agency, and it's kind of like proving itself right now. Uh, right now, we are going through the metadata of suspected people who are in connection with a kind of like a heist of some radioactive material from the Department of Energy. And we're trying to connect the metadata from their devices to known suspicious like keywords and stuff. And we're going to send that information up the line. So basically, we're looking through this guy's stuff. So, for example, we're supposed to look for a level A hazmat suit, for example. Um, this guy's looking for a level B hazmat suit, so that does not quite match. So we're not going to flag that for him. Uh, meanwhile, he we also have a list of people who were contacted at specific times of the day between 12.35 and 12.55. They don't appear in his metadata information. So this guy gets flagged as safe. He's not suspicious. How else do you convince people you ate Smurfs? <laughs> Except, you know what? That's true. That's true. If you're if you're looking for that vibe, the blue ones are the only way to go. All right, let's hook up at a Gurgit Shram. <laughs> All right, well we don't care about her social network. We're looking for specific call times. P e. Kirby, we got a P e. Kirby. Oh, hang on a minute. P e. Kirby between twelve thirty five and twelve fifty five. That's right there. We got her. And I, oh, check it out. I've got, um, I can right click. E. Kirby. Got you. Lady, consider yourself busted. Truck sees on the Florida Turnpike. Ooh, she had materials. Hold on. Let's, let's see if there's anybody else. A virologist, avid reader of science fiction, introverted personality with mixed social anxiety, speaks English, Punjabi, and Spanish. Distrust the government surveillance. Hmm, ironic. <laughs> Should be PM. It, wait, that was AM? Hold on a minute. I'm gonna go check her again. I thought I thought it said uh I thought it said PM. I could have sworn it said PM. I'll double check it though. Uh let's see, we've got Ernesto Cleros, Nika. Uh, this guy this guy's safe, he's fine. Alright, let me uh, let me go back to that other person I flagged earlier. 
truck sees containing radioactive materials. Suspect is in custody. Uh, nope, yep, she was, she actually did have the materials. We, uh, we confirmed that she actually was holding materials right there. We got, ladies and gentlemen, we got her. <laughs> uh, there might be other people though. Yo, you're a landowner making 400 grand per year? Eamon Burke? Vengeful spirit? Constantly dust books. Easily manipulated. Places cups upside down in cupboards. I do that. Knowledge of treatment, route to Melbourne. Level four, level A hazmat suits. Um, I think you're in trouble, bud. What are you, what are you moving radioactive materials for? You make 400 grand a year. You don't need this. You're a threat. Get out of here. Fees on the turnpike had materials on him. Look at that. All right, let's see. Can we go three for three? If there is a third? Student, making zero dollars. Yeah, that's true to life. Irked by open doors, prefers not to socialize, compare self to celebrities, struggling to overcome death of a loved one. Hmm. Let's check you out. A trio? Uh, call at 12.15. That is not within the window we're looking for, though. So you are actually okay. Yeah, you're fine. Congratulations, you're cleared. So we got two people, we got two suspects, and they actually had stuff on them. There must be four. There might be more, but we might only be able to catch a couple of them this time. Also, look at our phone battery throughout the day that as it's like deleting. <laughs> Buddy, plug that thing in. You're at work all day. We got it. We got all suspicious information. And we made six out of six correct decisions. Hell yeah. All right. But we also got paid naturally because we're good at our job. We got 100% compliance. We are now moving up to 1737 in the uh, clearance level 10 or whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> two are for cosplay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Four hazmat suits. Two, two of them for cosplay. Two of them are for crimes. <laughs> Drip. Nice work today. Oh, thank you, Chief. I don't like Snow Owl. I don't like the circumstances under which you're here. But good work. You might make a decent agent yet. Uh, thanks again. You're welcome. So she knows about Snow Owl. Hmm, that's interesting. I thought I was supposed to keep it hush-hush. Well, I guess the agency knows. I mean, the department knows everything, it seems like. Ooh, Garrett Pataki? Hey, how are you doing? Want to hang out tonight? Um, sure. Aunt Sorry kind of snowed under at the moment. Maybe a rain check? Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to hang out with him tonight. Um, maybe a rain check, sorry. Seems like a nice way to let him down, right? All good. All G. <laughs> oh, just one thing. What thing? Who was your crush in high school again? Why do you need to know that? Ha ha ha, you just feed off my embarrassment, don't you? <laughs> it was uh, Serena Leonard or Max Leonard? Max Leonard. Definitely Max Leonard. Letter to the maximum. <laughs> Raz, what's up, Raz? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Are you here to snoop on some people's internet history along with me? <laughs> Him, you sure? Yeah, you know it. You are a VIP. You're my you're my only tier three sub right now. <laughs> that that's enough for that's enough for a VIP status. <laughs> anyway, he's organizing some five year high school reunion thing. You should think about it. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, can we search him? Hold on, hold on, let me... Okay, it's Seb's, Seb's back. <laughs> hey, nice work today, sharpshooter. How did you know? Everyone here has. I like the deer PNG. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> I, I like my beer, deer PNG too. I also like my beer TNG. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you for the thank you for the bleats. Energy Department Intelligence has been talking uh, to us for months. Been great to stick one to them. Ready to keep that streak going? Uh, ready when you are. Any personal profile requests, by the way? Yes, I want to stoop on Max. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to feel bad about that, but like, 
I want to see what Max is up to. <laughs> we get to look at our old high school crush. Hold on. Um, Use skeleton key. Yeah, proceed with skeleton key. Uh, so DOL wants watch list of hot words and suspicious contacts. I mean, I've seen it a lot. I just miss it since like the 3D mode won't come in. Oh, yeah, it's true. I, I swap between them like all the time. <laughs> also, what's up, Trump? Welcome on in. How you doing? <laughs> Track down dangerous suspects who we can add to our higher priority watch list. Hmm. I'll be fired if I don't keep this above zero. Okay, got it. So, oh, deer facts. Yo, 49. A deer knows about that thing you did in 2015. He won't tell. But he does know. Don't worry. Deers are very good at keeping secrets. He he won't he won't reveal your your deep deep secrets. He'll only browse your internet history. <laughs> Doing good. Just got home making dinner and watching. Oh my gosh, drop. What are you making? If anybody ever mentions any food, I need to know more about the food. And antlers? You get some brand new antlers? Trust all deer with my secrets. Good. I'm glad that you trust me. I'm glad that you trust me and I'm not the least bit sussy. So you can trust me. <laughs> we are a little bit sussy tonight. All right, I am connected. Enable. Oh, hold on. I got to reroute, and we're gonna connect. Let's look for some. Uh, let's look for some sussy stuff here. We need M. Pate, O. Rosales, and E. Britt. Also, AK-47, Orange Meth, and Manuel Norigia. Okay. Let's do some work. Making meatballs with bulgogi sauce. Bulgogi sauce? On meatballs? In my house? It's more likely than you think. That sounds absolutely delicious, Drop. I would love that recipe if you don't mind sharing it. I don't think I've ever made bulgogi from scratch, but I love it. Uh, so check it out. We're looking for Ebrit. There's Ebrit right there. You were talking with Ebrit. Old Jane. Okay, you're good. Close profile. I got you. You have been searched. Wait, that's the person I just looked at. Okay, let's let's do our work first, and then I'll look at my high school boyfriend. <laughs> uh, stream, no scoping noobs. Yo. Do be streaming. Uh, Emmanuel Norigia. Is that the person we're looking for? No, Manuel Norigia. Voice of an angel. Internet search, Emmanuel Norigia. Girlfriend. Now we're fine. You're, you're okay. O Rosales. Uh, that's a problem. I'm going to snag that real quick. Okay. Who else we got? Donald Doherty. Doherty? Doherty. <laughs> so I can share it. Ooh. If you absolutely please do share it. <laughs> Noriga. RG. Noriga. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and Grim. Uh, e Brit again. Got another E Brit. Just gonna snag that. Uh, Bridges of the future, why your party is dumb, is blue meth real? <laughs> From TV questions, classic. Okay, so I think we're good. That's my folder of uh, stuff to sell. Close that profile. There's no one else to search in. Right? We got them all. Got them. All right, now let's search our boyfriend, Max Leonard. Yo, he's kind of handsome though. So he's, uh, I'm not looking for anything suspicious on him. He's fine. <laughs> he was a bad leader of Panama. Oh, I got you. I got you. Entourage, the TV show. Official fan site, gift shop. Yo, damn burst outside DACA. And job search journalism. Hmm. Got my ANEC. Oh, I got your snack and a cozy lurk. Yo, have yourself a nice little cozy lurk. I love snacking. I wish I could snack while streaming, but I feel like that would get distracting. <laughs> uh, let me let me sign in and sell some data real quick. Let me just uh, uh, sell this to Snow Owl. And can I just sell all this at the same time? Sell to buyer. Yep. Sell this all to the buyer. I'm getting so much money. So much money. Okay, so we're good. Um, withdraw funds. Yo, it's $208? That's pretty good. Look at that money. Look at that cash. Thank you. Uh, I wonder if I could... So, hold on. Let me, let me just remember this about this guy. He does. He likes Entourage. He's researching the dam burst outside of DACA. 
and he is interested in journalism. Journalism and entourage. So that's the topics we're going to talk with him about if we get to actually meet this guy. <laughs> okay. Get me out of here. Oh, you know what? Uh, quit. Time remaining. Oh, yo, it's, it's timing me down? I didn't know it was timing me down. Max Leonard is messaging me. Holy crap, it's happening, you guys. Hey, Drip, it's Max. <laughs> Hi, Max. <laughs> Garrett gave me your number. Garrett, you saucy little baka. Uh, so you coming to this crazy semi-reunion thing? Sure, I'll be there. Come on, come on. Great. Hey, what was that show you used to be obsessed with in high school? Uh, you mean Entourage? Because, uh... Because, I yeah, Entourage. Definitely Entourage. It was totally Entourage. Look, we like the same things, Max. Max, we like the same things. Wow, really? My brother loves that, but I'm mad. No, we blew it! <laughs> For some reason, I thought you were really into freaks and geeks. Um, yeah, that too. Y yeah? Oh, we blew it. That's awesome. I love that show too. I'm like, <laughs> we almost totally blew it. <laughs> anyway, I hope to see you at the reunion. Oh, it gave me a smiley emoji. Yes. Catch you later. All right. So we, 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 we might have misread some of that information. To be fair, he was on the gift shop to like, you know, buy a gift from Entourage. But he could have been buying it for himself. I don't know. I don't know Max's life. I guess I will have to snoop on him some more. <laughs> to buy a gift for his brother. Yeah. Yeah, we misread that a little bit. Postnatal depression. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Hey, Drip. How are things going? Kind of rough, but no emergencies. You? Funny story. You know how uh, you can get those super realistic rubber spiders? Well, I was on my way in today, and I saw one in a tree, so I go to pick it up. Good morning, Gibson. Uh, morning, Chief. Here. Seems you've done well so far. With compliance over 75%, the department has seen enough of your work. They'll let you know soon if you've got the job. However, we do have a couple more assignments for you before that, but you can skip them if you wish. It won't affect your chances. What do you want to do? Um, skip those missions. I'm ready for promotion. I like to... Let me finish up the mission. Let me finish up the mission. I finish what I start. Just remember, I'll be monitoring you. Stay on your toes. Wow, she really doesn't like you. <laughs> I, th I think she likes me fine. She respects me as a, uh, well, not quite as a peer, as a subordinate? Yeah. She respects me as a sub. Ordinate. <laughs> Peeping Tom. Identify suspicious searches and contacts. Suspicious topics. Persons of interest. Yo, let's go. Peeping Tom. Usually web searches are innocuous, but the department likes to keep track of certain keywords, especially those associated with lethal chemicals. Identify searches for these chemicals and connections with known militants. Oh, no. <laughs> Respected as a sub? Yes. Exactly, Midori. Thank you. You get it. <laughs> uh, we have ethidium bromide, potassium cyanide, hydrofluoric acid, and we've also got S. chandopper and D. Boone. That's not so bad. Begin my assignment. I got this. Yeah, no militants. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those gnomes. They're all in Sanisota. Yikes. Uh, Chicago, Chicago, Grand Illinois Hotel. It looks like you're traveling, bud. Uh, you s been contacting any bad people? We are looking for Sean Dropper and Boone. Nope, he's good. You're clear. Peter Blom. All right, let's see about Sabine Herman. Weak spot for children, was shot five times, has an imaginary friend, and manipulates others. Hmm. Yo, you're associated with D. Boone, though. Gotta say. Uh, ex also, you had a phone call with D. Boone. You are, you are turbo sussy. Look at that, look at that sm smile. What would, what would you call this facial expression? It looks like she's going to shit her pants. Well, she should be, because she's about to get, like, flagged. You are now on a government watch list. Congratulations, lady. Oh, hang on a minute. Get over here. Get over here. Alexander. 
Uh, all new trailers. Jessica69 is live on liveinfreecams.net. Also, he's looking for potassium chloride. Oh, but we're looking for potassium cyanide, not chloride. Just kidding. You're fine. What the heck is potassium chloride? I don't freaking know. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Midori. You got it. You got the vibe. Bray's got the vibe. Oh, everybody's whispering carelessly now. Hell yeah. <laughs> S. Shandrapper. That's, that's the sussy person. I'm afraid you are getting flagged. Sorry, friend. Uh, what else we got? One more person left. Uh, S. Chandrapur, spelled differently though, so that's a different person. Thank you for the cheese. <laughs> also, Dongo, what's up? Jessica69 is live? Boring. Drip the Deer is live? Real shit. Thank you. We all know where the real action's at. <laughs> Isn't that right, Astral Mouse? <laughs> uh, Ethidium Bromide. Is that what we're looking for? Ethidium. Ethidium. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, sorry, friend, but uh, you're getting flagged. <laughs> Added to chemical weapons watch list. All right. We have a lot of people on watch lists today. <laughs> I hope we got them all. We did get them all. Wait, no, 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 no. I, I, I marked one wrong. But I did make all the appropriate decisions. What did I get wrong? It was on this one? I didn't miss anything. D. Okay, so I marked that incorrect. D. Boone. Oh, it had an E at the end. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. That's okay. We still get our promotion. <laughs> We're still above 100% compliance. Give me my money. Give me my promotion. Let's go. Friday. Ooh, Friday. Big news, everyone. Since this recent theft fiasco, Energy Department Intelligence Jurisdiction has been under question. Washington feels that they are no longer effective, so the DOL will be taking over for their duties. EDI will now officially be absorbed by us. Wow, fast. EDI has been declining for decades. This is only the final straw. Great, so what am I on now? Nuclear security, protecting the grid. Not quite that exciting. Yo, who's got that booty? Rizel's over here shaking booty? It's very distracting, Rizel. I looked over there for like one second and I was like, oh, there's a booty. All right, authenticate me. Log me in. Leaden Pinwheel. Find EDI staff with... Oh, okay. We're weeding them out. Since the, uh, since the department will be consuming energy department intelligence, we also will be taking over much of their staff. Therefore, we must run a program of extreme vetting to weed out potential troublemakers. Search among EDI staff for online comments slandering the DOL and contact with known anti-DOL campaigners. Oh no. Oh no. There's a lot of booties in chat right now. I'm never going to be able to focus. <laughs> no. Guys, I'm about to be promoted. You can't be dropping booties on the stream like this. I like this one. Azure alert. Ne uh, negative online comments about the DOL. Yo, whose booty is that? Jazzo. <laughs> you know what? I changed my mind. Send all the booties. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. That's the good stuff. I see an oofy butt in there. Hell yeah. I see a couple booties I recognize. <laughs> a. Galagos, B. Blankenship, and R. O'Hara. These are all during specific times of the day. A.M., P.M., P.M. All right. All right. Let's go. May the booties guide me. Okay, so we're looking for... Social network doesn't matter, because we need specific times. BOD is terrible, don't at me. Somebody doesn't like Call of Duty. Reaction to reaction to reaction videos. Too real. Stream the Saint. Hmm, from Redflix. Obsessed with Michael Jackson, learning to make coffee, prefers to wear black only, and likes SUVs. An EDI team leader. Oh yeah, I guess they're all going to be EDI people. Well, you're you're okay, because I need specific times of day for these uh, talking points. So you know what? You're fine. You make it in. Uh, who else we got? We got Esteban Gomez. 
What is the DOL? Department job transitioning, moving companies. <laughs> well, he doesn't plan to stay. Uh, do you have any contact with people? B. Blankenship. Between 4 and 4.30. Yo, we got him. B. Blankenship, 4.18 p.m. Got him. Busted. Busted, buddy. Denied job with the DOL. It's okay, he was already looking for other jobs. Anya Kurtz. Great gift ideas for kids. This doll is literally toxic. Uh... DOL, oh, DOL, DOLL, I get it. <laughs> also, product returns, nice. You're fine. You're fine. And she refused the job anyway. I, I just saw that. She turned us down. Interesting. L. Leong, E. Bibi, R. O'Hara. Hold on, that's one of our names. It was at 9 p.m., though, so it's not during the time that we're looking for. We're okay. Insist on scalding hot showers, permanently cynical outlook, continually blocked nose, cannot balance on one foot. <laughs> All right, buddy, you, you survive. Welcome to the welcome to the Department of Liberty. <laughs> I like how they're having me vet <laughs> the new employees. All right, we got the DOL is fine. Honestly, I love the DOL. I hear they're very generous with medical plans. All right, well, nothing's not saying anything bad. Uh, you do have contact with... Oh, nobody. You're fine. Yeah, welcome to the DOL. Congratulations. Enjoy the healthcare plan. Transfer to the DOL. Who else we got? Gabriella Macias. Frequently uses condiments. Uh, strangely deep analytical knowledge. Sweats extensively. Oh, same. Struggles to digest proteins. Alright, let's see what you got. Twitch told me to elevate my message. Elevate your message? Is that a thing? Two minutes for five dollars? To elevate a message? <laughs> Interesting. That must be a new thing they're rolling out. I've never actually seen it. It's like a super chat in YouTube. Oh. Can you elevate somebody shaking their booty so I can just see it front and center at all hours? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to spend money here. <laughs> what is the DOL? I'm telling you, the DOL is dangerous. Q and A. Are you app? Are you applicable for a loan? Wait, are you applicable for a loan? What? For an hour, it would cost eight hundred dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honestly, Twitch makes some weird additions to their channels. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. DOL is dangerous, though. I don't like that. That's a uh, that's a little sussy. That's a negative comment. Also, have you been talking with any people? Uh, we got G. Galagos. No, that's A. Galagos. No one else? We're good? Alright, you still were bad talking the DOL, so I'm afraid you're gonna be fired. Job application for DOL. Denied. What is Super Chat and what the fuck does elevated message mean? You know, honestly, I have no idea. I think it just... I don't know. It, like, puts it... It's like highlighting a message. Yeah, you don't have to highlight messages here. I'm gonna... I, I chat with everybody. Our channel is small enough that I can actually see everybody's messages without having to, you know, elevate anything. <laughs> Y'all just vibe. How about that? <laughs> I've completed my assignment. Check out my report. Chip doesn't pay attention to me. Time to pay $100. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we got it. 100%. 2 out of 2, 6 out of 6. Hell yeah, finished with compliance. They love me here. I am so good at my job. I'm so good at my job. <laughs> Get some water over here. Mm -mm -mm. I make drip pay me a hundred dollars not to chat. <laughs> it's true. It's it's like it's like an unsubscription. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a family dinner. Yo, check it out. Typical deer ignoring other deers. I would never. <laughs> I'm so happy we can finally get together for lunch. It's been so long. Okay, lunch. Family lunch. Whatever. Alex, don't play with your food. I'm not playing, Mom. I'm eating. Yeah, it's been hard to get away lately, Eva. Look at this man's face. <laughs> the company is going gangbusters now. Not that I won't blow my own horn. Oh, this is the guy who offered me the job earlier. This is my uncle. Why not, honey? After all, it's your company. Alana, get that food... Get off that 
foo darn phone. Oh, I get it. She was gonna say fuck. <laughs> yes, mother. So anyway, long story short, I'm kicking ass and taking names over in Miami. Ah, sorry, it looks like the investment boat has sailed, bro. I'll try to console myself, Steve. So, Drip, what's new with you? Any luck with your job hunting? Uh, I went... Actually, Drip has been on a trial with the Bureau of Statistics. Oh, trial? Well, that's something, dear. Uh, get it? She called me dear because my name is dear. It's like reverse stripping. <laughs> exactly. People pay me to put clothes on. <laughs> Yo, putting that four-year degree to good use, huh, champ? Ha, I'm just messing with you. But if you're interested, I'm sure I can always find you a spot in my company. I, I mean, I don't know. That's very generous, Steve, but I think this one looks promising. I don't know, Oscar. There's nothing wrong with a fallback, and it really could be a great opportunity. Right, Trip? Uh, maybe, Mom. I'll find out soon anyway. Third fastest growing information security from the Miami Dade area. All I'm saying is, think about it, Chief. Wink. Wink. You hear that drip? Top three. <laughs> it's such a sad metric to measure by. <laughs> oh my gosh. Goes on Twitter, sees BTS is going to serve military. Oh yeah, I saw that story. Oh my gosh, that sucks, right? Did you hear drip top three? Top three. My gosh. Usually I only top one. Oh. Uh, anyway, take it easy, Bob. Now they're gonna leave. <laughs> She's gone. One email received. Yo, check it out. Mark Finch? Who's Mark Finch? Hmm. Hi, Drip. Excellent work through your trial period. The department would like to offer you permanent employment. From now on, you'll be upgraded to clearance level 9, and we'll assume your responsibilities on a permanent basis. Top tree? I can't top tree. <laughs> Congratulations, we look forward to seeing more of you, Mark Finch. Drip top me? Oh! <laughs> we got at least three years without their annoying fans. Are their fans annoying? I haven't really looked at their fans too much. Thanks, Uncle Steve, but I'm gonna take a rain check on that offer. You got the job? That's great, Drip. See, you didn't have to worry, Drip. What can I say? You were right again. I guess the Department of Statistics looks after its people, right? Uh, yeah. And if not, you know who to call. Winks. <laughs> oh my god, start a trend for their fans to join the military with them? That would be weird. Thank you for the cheese, by the way. <laughs> Fathom. It's 2034? It's 2034? Why is it 2034? Is this a time skip? In there. That door's locked. Yo. It's me? It's me from the future? I'm in. Now I can search for Solomon. I need to find him before they find me. Hold on. This is getting weird. We're in the future now? It, look at my passport. Diplomatic passport for the United States. Also, uh, bleats are on sale, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm logging in. Hunter 2. Try to find Solomon. You need to follow a chain of people. Start by opening the first suspect on the map. And it sims. Yo, check this out. Hold on, it's getting weird now. We're like 20 years in the future. Here's some call metadata. Um, you want to link the suspect to the assay. Uh, right click tool, open assay. Yo, assay tool? I'm looking. No links, no links. Yo, I found a new suspect. Oh, it's getting real. We're looking for Solomon. Ruby Choi? Has anyone seen Solomon? Not in months, only Ricardo knows where he is. Even then the DOL will never find him. We need to cover our tracks and call Pietor. Let's check Pietor. Piotr? Piotr? <laughs> Thank you for the bleats, by the way. That's a lot of bleats coming in. Hold on, let me, let me get some extra bleats uh, real quick. There you go, enjoy. You look young, what happened to you? Um, I, I uh, extra coffee. It does wonders for the skin. There's nowhere to run, just give up. Hold on, we're looking for P Pietor. Pietor. Uh, check him out, he's an import manager. He's got an email. No, Arlo, you don't seem to understand how big this is. They find Solomon, we're all finished, the whole thing. You tell Baragon that. Hold on, we're looking for Baragon. Find someone new, yeah. Oh yeah, Bleed, I meant to ask you that. 
found someone new. Check it out. Gabriella Bargan. Can you send me that sound clip on Twitter when you get a chance? Oh, absolutely. Not a problem. I'll hook you up. Uh, you might have to remind me after the stream. <laughs> Just shoot me a little DM and I'll, I'll get you sorted. No problem, please. Uh, duct tape from Galangal Hardware. Uh, black spray paint, EMP jammer, revolver, lead line briefcase. Excuse me? Uh, what, what what's this uh, briefcase? Spy stuff. No links found. Revolver, maybe? Maybe? I was going to ask what your Twitter was, but you follow me. Yeah, there you go. You got me. Uh, we found someone. Kowalski Adam. They're getting closer. I feel it. We'll be fine. Just don't panic. Solomon's harder and harder to hide. What are we going to do? Talk to Stavros. We're going to search Stavros. Something else. Where are you? They're like all across the world now. What the hell is happening? Stavros. Geotracking. Rakato's Antiques. Rakato? You stop there? Excuse me? Hello? Grace? Grace Rakato. Live evidence. Oh god, they're they're actually slamming down my door right now. K Solomon. Messaging K Solomon. Yo? Hold on. They're 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 they're, they're at me! Oh god. <laughs> Going back in time. Yo! 